So it's the final with Ronaldinho and it's Man City in the final, which should be a tough challenge on world class. So uh, I don't really think I'll be able to stuff about with Ronaldinho. So what I've done is asked him to play a little bit further forward than his central attacking midfield role, get into the box and, and finish things off. Uh, at the same time, I've asked him to drift wide, so hopefully he'll be covering some some strange spaces to uh, draw the defence to him and uh, create opportunities for others. Well, that was one of the first dribble moves that's actually worked. He shifted it to uh, to make some room for the shot. Of course, the replay doesn't quite show it, but uh, that's a good sign. Now, will Benzema's head still be the weapon that it has been? Or even Virgil's. That's a crazy attempt. I'd like to see the uh, the replay of that. Now that's on me for hitting the flare button for the shot, but uh, that's crazy. That's scorpion kick, Colombian goalkeeper style. He's linked it to Messi here. Oh, that was a back heel volley through ball. If only it had got through to him. Oh, and he's running back for it. And he's immediately more involved. Good distribution. And now uh, trying to fire it into Benzema's head. Oops. Showed him the sideline. And he definitely took it. It's opening up a lot more than I would like it to for them here. Anytime I could win the ball, please. Here we go. So they're shutting off that interior pass. Maybe we can get sort of a wing back happening here let's not overdo that because we're exposed defensively if he goes too far if we bring somebody close that should open up a hole in between to now run into and he just got offside one of those passes was misplaced one should have been that one first one should have been to Ronaldinho, not the second one. That's uh, my mistake. It was well distributed. Now they're looking to pick me apart again, knowing that I will run out to, uh, to try and steal it from them like this. But if that works, we should have an overlap here. Not quite, it's three on three. But the winger once again makes room. There it is. Bit of patience. I'm glad I didn't take the first shot and I passed it out. He just got a foot to it, but good enough to, to knock it home. Atletico. Could you please just say Man City? Make up nicknames. Another run ending in nothing by Sterling, so quite the simulation. Go. Could we... Yes, they can. Very happy with that. I do like my chips. I really like my chips. And the uh, the way we created space with Messi coming to the ball and the central midfielder continuing is beautiful. 
really like that. Just pulling teams apart with passing rather than dribbling. And yes, I'll bore you with the uh, the replay from replay mode because let's uh, rewind that and hide that. So the asking Messi to come towards the ball pulls number five away and that opens up the space behind where Messi came from for the midfield run and then the chip which just creeps under the bar very happy with that I like it when things work let's not over commit let them come forward hopefully they will and then we can run in behind. You can see Ronaldinho is already staying up front instead of tracking back which means he's more of a target rather than a creator which kind of goes against what he does but it's how I play and that seems to be working for me. Yeah, terrible distribution. Can we Use the fact that there's no offside on throw-ins and hide down here. No, because we can't make the throw. Fair enough. I thought I had a very good chance to attack there. All right, let's sneak Ronaldinho around to the bottom right. And if we win the ball, We'll have an easy outlet. It has gone over the duck line for what will be a throw in. Well, feeding his opponent. Yep, drank two players out of position. Oh, thought that was in. What a great shot. Well, I was surprised because I thought that had scored. Yep, Allison was frozen. There's a bit of room up there, but he didn't make the pass hard enough. So I need to remember to look at the radar once in a while because things do tend to open up. Nope, couldn't dribble past. Can't pass, can't pass past either. That's me completely losing track of Aguero on the run, but getting it back regardless. Hold up. If Ronaldinho could keep coming, that would be nice. So Buendia has been fun to play with. He's uh, very quick and he's very willing to make the runs down that right-hand side. Playing with three centre backs, it's um, really up to him to provide the width, and he's done that really well. I've really enjoyed. Here he goes again, just bombing forward. We'll give him some thing to chase. Ah, bounce back off him. He's tiny. He's five foot eight, but he's uh, obviously very quick. Now I'm dragging Lorente forward too, and there's room for Ronaldinho. Could not make the pass. Might be half time then. Just still two in the final. I'm happy with that so far. Let's uh, let's carry on while it's going well. So the ball moving once more, and Atletico left with a real mountain to climb in the second half. We go to the deep lying midfielder and see if we can't draw them out a little bit. And now we should have one extra. Ronaldinho. There. Nope. Again, the distribution is terrible from their keeper. Okay, how far off was I? Because I was looking at Ronaldinho.
Yeah, that looks very much like I'm trying to pass back to Ronaldinho. And then the ball goes, what, 45 degrees from where I'm hitting? That's an auto cross of some sort that's taken over there. Whoa, brave header. Good step over too on the letting the ball run. So they're in there gonna go score a goal phase now. They're playing very well. And look at that, it's Sterling stuffing up the run again. Do we have an overlap? We do, but I took a touch before hitting it. It's a lot quicker on world class and I've I've not adjusted even through four games now. Once again, tarried on it instead of making the original like that. Crazy that I didn't feel confident enough to go forward with Ronaldinho. Messi's open. Bang. an obvious through ball pass to make and Messi's not going to miss those look at that, wide open yep, moved to the right well we've got some subs and I think we might just grab Kylian Mbappe for yeah, let's go for speed for Benzema and that way we can play Rashford on the left and try and use that pace up the left side and stop using a target man in Benzema. And run Benzema tired now because he's going to get a very long rest in a second. Now we can run pay it. No, nope, apparently not contain at all and just be ripped apart with passing. That was strong. One more hold up. One more hold up. Thought I could get the spin in before getting tackled. It was wrong. Well, it's a bit of a midfield stalemate at the moment. Mindy. Which I guess is good if you're up 3-0, but I wouldn't mind getting another one. Mindy. He was offside. Playing quite strict man to man. That's, there we go. Beat a player, opened it up. And Mbappe makes the manager look like a genius, doesn't it? Not sure why his defender backed off him then. And yet, my supposed star player really hasn't been involved. It's uh, Messi distributing and Mbappe scoring. Let's try now. Can he get... No, can't get to that at all. Given it away. 
let's force the issue. We've got 15 more minutes in game of Ronaldinho. Probably won't see him ever again. So let's force the issue. Ah, extra double tap wasn't needed. We'll go again. Yeah, well, 10 minutes now and I don't have the ball. No, still can't dribble with him. That's such a shame. Just skillful dribbling is not my thing. I can do the flip flaps, but they don't go anywhere. He read the situation defensively and did a job. Aguero. Mendy. Sterling. So yeah, sometimes being forced into things you don't like works and it seems like this is one step beyond me. One two passes are fun. And using open players and but the straight up dribbling, I can't seem to make use of it. Yep, look at that, spun into trouble rather than away from it. Oh well, I'll take the win, I'll take the experience, but uh, hope for a different icon that, uh, that more suits my playstyle next time.